Okay, welcome back everybody. So, I'm going to try to make this a really short, to the point video and not talk so much. We have our Joker links that we reviewed in a previous video. You can see it. Pretty dirty. Dirty girl. So, I wanted to share with you what my dad showed me many, many, many <laughs> moons ago on how to care for a blade and how to clean it up. Well, you're going to need a few simple things for this. Paper towel, some simple green or um, Dawn dish soap, it doesn't matter. Toothpaste, doesn't matter on the brand, and an old toothbrush. That's it. And maybe some water. So, let's get started now the toothpaste works good for any of this really ground in grime it will get it off the blade you can even get in that jimping and you want to watch out for the edge because you will cut your toothbrush but it's okay it's an old toothbrush doesn't really matter that's why we use an old one and I'm sure everybody's got an old one okay want to give it a really good scrub to break up all that ground in mess okay I'm going to take some paper towel I'm just going to wipe it off and there is that little red piece is one of the bristles off the brush got caught by the uh, the blade and that's fine we don't mind okay look at that <laughs> okay I see I got a little bit more work to do on that spine this is getting off all the really ground in gunk and there's a little bit right there can you see it right there okay now, a little bit of simple green. And this is concentrated, it's not diluted. Sometimes works on these really stubborn spots with the toothpaste. So we're going to work on that spine. Because that spine got quite a workout. Not only batoning and everything else, but uh, ferro rod. And, man, I used it for everything. There was some stuff that wasn't even on video where I was literally using, stupidly, I'll admit, the knife like a pry bar a few times. And it held up like a champ. Okay. All right, look at that spine. It's all clean. Let's see if we got that stubborn spot. Uh, I think so. Let me get another paper towel here. Okay. Okay, and then the final thing you want to do is just run this under some some uh, cold water take your toothbrush with you scrub it one more time dry it off and I'm gonna go do that I'm not taking you into my bathroom so I'll be right back okay we're back I've rinsed it off as you can see it's pretty clean even the spine is pretty clean there's a lot of ground in gunk 
and it could probably use another good wiping and cleaning. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm about to take this to the strop. And I'm going to strop this edge. It's still very sharp, but I want to strop it before I, uh, I put it away because the next step for me is I got to make a kydex sheath for this. My new favorite knife. I love this knife. So that is how you clean up a knife blade that has a lot of ground and grime. You just need a few simple things and a little bit of elbow grease. One thing to note, if your blade is a carbon steel, not a stainless, this is stainless, so I don't have to really worry about it rusting too much. But if it's a carbon steel, once you've got it clean and dried off and everything, you should go ahead and coat the blade with mineral oil. The reason you want to use, uh, let me be specific, food grade mineral oil, okay? I'm going to say that again. If you have a high carbon steel blade that you're cleaning up, after you get it dry, coat it with food grade mineral oil, okay? Because most of us who do outdoor stuff, this is going to be my new belt knife. I will use this for food prep, okay? If this was a high carbon steel blade, I would coat it with mineral oil, food grade mineral oil. I keep having to say that over and over and over again. And the reason is, it doesn't go rancid, it doesn't really go bad. Food grade mineral oil is what a lot of people used to treat old butcher blocks. Um, and that's what, and it'll protect the steel from rusting, okay? Also, if you have a high carbon steel blade and you're gonna, let's say you're gonna put it in storage for a while, you're not gonna be using it, do not store it in a leather sheath. Don't do it. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I wanna show what happened to my dad's knife. And I'm not sure what happened because this, this is advice I got from my father that has been proved out through most of my life. But his knife got stored in leather, in its leather sheath. And I don't know how long it was in that leather sheath. It might have had some mineral oil on it in the beginning, but it dried out and it rusted. And it's just such a shame, it breaks my heart. But, food grade mineral oil. Do a little shopping. It can be found. That's what you want to coat a blade, a high carbon steel blade with. That's one of the other reasons I like stainless blades. Not to mention, Michigan's a big swamp. And oh my God, do we have mosquitoes. Earlier, I was outside just mowing the lawn and I put like three layers of bug dope on and every time I drove underneath a tree in the riding mower mowing, there were just these clouds. Yeah, I could see them, clouds of mosquitoes that were coming up out of the grass and they would fly right at me and when they get a whiff of me, they'd all back off and scatter. It, it was nuts how many mosquitoes we got right now. And some of them would follow me out into the sun still trying to find a spot to bite me. <laughs> all the rain we've got. It's been three three weeks and some change and we've practically got rain every day or night. It's nuts. But I digress. So that's it for this nice little tip. I hope you all have a good time and I hope you learned something and I hope to see you out in the woods.